Five minutes of Amazon Post. Let's dive into it. So Amazon Post, imagine that it's the Instagram for Amazon, right? So Amazon wants to give a better shopping experience and they understand that being more social is extremely valuable because that's what the attention is. Imagine TikTok, right? There's a term saying, um, TikTok made me buy it. We are making a new video about Amazon Inspire. Stay tuned for it. But related to, to Amazon Post, it's very, very important because it allows us to promote valuable content it creates more brand awareness for your brand, which is very, very important, especially now. So if you want to share high quality visuals and engage with customers, Amazon Post is a good, good way to do it, right? Why is it so important? The most important thing is that it drives traffic, right? So by driving traffic, you're increasing the awareness of your brand. And maybe not now, but believe me, in the to medium long term, this is going to be super beneficial for you. You're going to enhance your brand's visibility, very important. You're going to increase sales. All right, and you're gonna advertise your products with no additional cost. Obviously, you need buy registry for this, but besides that, you're gonna reach a wider audience. It's extremely important. For, for example, check this out. This is something that we created. So people can either like it or share this, or they can just click on the listing on this, it'll take it to the listing. So it's very, very important to have creative, good creative imagery for that. Look how beautiful this looks. It's very, very important. That's the idea. Make sure you create organic imagery, image, images that connect with the buyer, as well as having that touch, that human touch is super important because it showcases the product. Make sure the setting is good as well, super important. Stay consistent with your branding, make sure that the branding is consistent, make sure that you have a one voice for your brand. Remember that there is a buyer persona, make sure you're always targeting that buyer persona. You have to experiment. Depending on the season, the market, the economy, there's so many things. If something works well, keep doing that, but make sure you're also experimenting it. Include a call to action. Make sure that there's a call to action. Hey, you can use click here type of thing because Amazon will allow it, but make sure you, you use some sort of call to action. And also high quality of image. Remember that perception or price perception and value perception is very important. What does that mean? If your product is $50, right? And your photos are just like, they're made out of a dollar. People are gonna feel like your product is worth a dollar. So imagine if Apple made their images using very low quality. You're not really gonna use them, right? They actually, one of the key features that they use as a selling point is that their products are so good that all the beautiful images that you see on billboards are taken with an iPhone. So that's the idea you want to. You see quality, very very important all right this is what we do and this is what's worked for us so far maybe in a month it won't work i don't know we're gonna keep experimenting it you should at least have five content pillars what does that mean that means that there are five ideas okay and those five ideas you gotta test them out and you're gonna wait a little bit and test them out again and then depending on what works and what doesn't you keep doing that take as much of it as you can from it and start new content pillars. So for example, you're gonna create, you know, um, products with accessories, natural backgrounds, some graphics. Um, infographics, you cannot use too much text. You can use it creatively. Amazon actually doesn't allow it. If you wanna know more about it, please leave a comment down below. Subtle um, seasonal content in lifestyle with a model. This is very important because people can relate to it. So you publish your content, wait a week or wait a month, or I wouldn't say a month, but make sure you're posting a lot and just give it time to, to gather that data. And then download the reports and determine what's working. So that, this is what I mean. 70% of the time you should keep publishing what's working and then 30 percent experiment so let's say that you know a lot of it worked accessories in lifestyle with the model worked really really good make sure you keep doing that but maybe seasonal didn't work that much maybe you should think of something new some way to up that game maybe with memes or things that really catch the attention keep experimenting have a team in place or at least a consultant we can consult you if you need consult and be like hey why this can we use as well you can be using chat gpt check how the experiment is working how it's performing is it going good is it going bad what marketing is all about is testing a b testing and then just scale 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 Remember that flexibility, dynamism is very important because it takes you out of your comfort zone. It's maybe sometimes what you think might not work, it's actually gonna work. So um, if you wanna watch more things related to Amazon Post, make sure you click on this video where I talked with Summer about Amazon Post, or you can check out this video where we talk about how you can start making money with the Amazon Post. It's very important to you know for you to, to keep as a business owner, to keep improving yourself. That's what I do, that's what everybody should be doing. But as a business owner, it's very, very important to keep up, up in your game. So let's scale, guys. Um, if you can, please subscribe. It'll be such a helpful thing if you subscribe. As well, leave comments down below what you think of this video. Should we keep making five-minute videos like this or shorter type of videos? Okay, bye.